Every year, an average of one person dies during the New Year celebration. In addition, hundreds of people are injured each year as a result of fireworks, and approximately 11,000 incidents are registered. For decades now, this has made the New Year celebration the most unsafe event of the year in many places in the Netherlands. For this reason, the Dutch Safety Board decided in 2017 to conduct an investigation into the safety risks surrounding the New Year celebration. The Dutch Safety Board is an independent organisation aimed at increasing the safety of citizens. Apart from accidents and disasters, the Dutch Safety Board increasingly investigates broader safety issues, such as the New Year celebration. These investigations do not address issues of blame or liability. The purpose of all investigations is to learn and to make recommendations to parties involved where necessary, in order to improve safety. The investigation into the New Year's celebration safety risks led to the following recommendations. Prohibit fireworks that cause a lot of injuries, invite dangerous behaviour, or cause a lot of inconvenience, such as rockets and bangers. Municipalities should take control to ensure a more organised celebration of the New Year. The Dutch Safety Board published eight extensive investigation reports in 2017. The Safety Board conducted a second investigation into Oddfield Terminals, Rotterdam. The objective was to investigate what action parties had taken after the shutdown of Oddfield in 2012 and the Safety Board's recommendations in 2013. The Safety Board's conclusion was that there are still shortcomings in the safety management of companies working with hazardous substances and the supervision thereof. Before a decision can be made regarding the growth of Schiphol Airport, the risks for air traffic at and around the airport must be dealt with. The design of the airport and the system for handling air traffic are so complex that it results in structural issues. The limits of safe air traffic handling are in sight, is the Safety Board's conclusion in the investigation into air traffic safety at Amsterdam Airport Schiphol that also took place in 2017. A fundamental debate will be necessary about the future of aviation and the growth of Schiphol. The Dutch government must assume full and final responsibility for the safety of air traffic at and around Schiphol Airport. The Safety Board has conducted an investigation to establish how such a large quantity of carcinogenic ethylene oxide could have been released into the atmosphere at Shell Moordyke, unnoticed, for more than two months. Shell Moordyke and comparable businesses must make the safety of the surrounding area a key issue and take more measures to prevent the emission of hazardous substances, irrespective of their possible effects. The Safety Board investigated an accident that took place during the renovation of a government building, the former Vrom, in the centre of The Hague, here a passerby died due to falling scaffold pieces. In the event of large-scale building projects in crowded town centres, municipalities, clients and builders must be constantly aware of safety in the immediate vicinity. On the 22nd of March 2016, the Royal Netherlands Army Commando Corps was training in a shooting range that belonged to the Ossendrecht Police Academy. The participants used live ammunition, which resulted in a lethal injury to a trainee instructor. Despite the existing safety regulations, the Ministry of Defence Senior Management did not supervise the safety of its own personnel in a professional way during a shooting exercise by the Dutch Army Commando Corps. This led to questions within the safety board as regards the safety culture within the entire organisation at the Ministry. The Safety Board therefore recommends investigate how staff within all levels of the organisation deal with the safety of their staff. On the 21st of August 2016, the mast of the historic sailing ship Amicitia collapsed while entering Harlingen Harbour. This led to three people losing their lives. The Safety Board conducted an investigation and recommended the following. 
to ensure the safety of passengers, passenger shipping on historic ships must be further professionalized. On the 6th of July 2016, during a military exercise in Mali, a shell exploded in its mortar. Two mortar shooters died instantly. A third soldier, who was filming the exercise, was seriously injured. It became clear from the investigation that fatal shell was loaded in the mortar in the correct manner. Inspection revealed that the shell was not armed and exploded while in safe mode. The safety board has found serious shortcomings in the concern for the safety of Dutch military personnel during the mission in Mali. This concerned the safety of the mortar shells, as well as adequate military medical care. The board concluded that the importance of ammunition safety and good medical facilities had become secondary to the progress of the Mali mission and therefore made the following recommendations to the Ministry of Defence. Ensure appropriate risk management and provide insight into how the safety and health of Dutch military personnel is ensured. Improve the care for weapons and ammunition, so they can be used safely during missions. Improve the acute medical care available during international military missions. In addition to the completed investigations, the Safety Board initiated another eight extensive investigations that will be completed and published in 2018. The first investigation is named Cooperation on Nuclear Safety. The report was already published by the Safety Board when making this overview. The Board has conducted research not only in the Netherlands but also in Belgium and Germany and recommends the following. In order to be adequately prepared for a nuclear incident, it is necessary that the Netherlands improve their collaboration with Belgium and Germany. In addition to improving the crisis plans, the countries must conduct more drills and organize matters in such a way to improve communication on the measures to be taken. The authorities must also be more aware of the concerns of citizens and improve the provision of information.